Welcome to week 2 of quarter 2. So para sa week 2, what we have for uh, wha- what we have our AP, ESP, Filipino, MAPE, partic- uh, arts in mother tongue, tapos SSES science. Okay, let's see what's inside of each of the subjects. For AP, ang um, Ang topic na ilaladawan ang sa dirang ang sa diring pamilya base sa komposisyon na kagawian asin pagtubod pinaghalian obligasyon asin derecho o karapatan kan lambang miembro so this is in continuation of the previous topic this is about, still about family so uh, describing what your ang um, composition kung ilan o anong klase nakagi nakagawin as in pagtubod uh, this is what you the cost, customs or what you used to do as a family pinaghalian kung uh, ano ba origin kung saan nanggaling particularly yung uh, place and then obligation as in derecho obligation means uh, mga dapat gawin diretsyo mga mga karapatan rights okay so yan ang AP para sa week 2 which is handled by teacher Anel but still I will continue sending lesson video na para uh, page by page next for ESP ESP naman using the contextualized learners packet quarter to week 2 ang pamilya sa kakapwa ko na mumutan ko. So na if you if you remember nag-start mo na sa sarili and then did family tapos anod outside the family which is the community. So for this quarter I will be handling ESP and also I will still send lesson video tapos medyo may dag uh, may dagdag ng discussion. Okay, next is Filipino. So, using the Smile Learners Packet. So, ito ay tungkol sa mga magalang na pananalita or the courteous expressions. In MTB, we already discussed this. Itong uh, ginto na title. Yung mga pagiging magalang, how you say it. Yung mga greetings and then mga apology th- uh, thanks so this time this is in Filipino which is uh, handled by teacher Malbi so yan ang uh, the details will be sent through a lesson video by teacher Malbi so uh, same procedure page by page then and for MAPE Arts uh, this is about the yan maraming uri ng ba, ang bahay at paaralan ang bawat bahay at paaralan ay may mga bahagi at iba't ibang disenyo so this is about kri uh, makakaguhit ng isang bahay o tanawin sa paaralan o dis, disenyo wrong spelling lang to gamit ang diak on o nais na kulay upang makalikha o you can make ng ninanais ng iyong nadarama o damdamin so, ano bang itsura ng, anong pinagkaiba ng school and then home? Ano ba ang meron sa school na, wal, na wala sa home or the other way around? So, yan. May gagawin dyan. And then, this is until page 3 only. Okay, let's continue with MTB naman. Shortened ito ng self-learning module. So, ini tungkol sa supplying rhyming words to complete a rhyme, poems, and song. So, previously, ang ginawa lang sa MTB, madangog lang, you have to listen for the rhyming words. But this time, you need to complete it with another word that will rhyme. So, parang level up na ng uh, topic natin sa rhyming words. So, there is a poem that you need to read or you need to listen first and then later on, uh, babasahon mo. Tapos may gibohon 1, gibohon 2, and then gibohon 3 until page 3. And for science naman, for week 2, uh, previously we discussed about the different animal bed, animal body parts, the how they get food, their habitat, and then the, what else? Uh, 
Tama ba? Oh, the different uh, body parts and then uh, their body coverings. But in this time for week two, uh, we are going to talk about the needs of animals. Let's find out if these are the same with our needs or may pagkakaiba. And because we are on the second week of math, uh, but if you wish to practice more, especially in addition, kasi madami ang sakot ng addition, and then bawat level may mga challenging parts, if you want to be challenged, if you want to practice para maging mas magaling pa, you can get a copy of this one. Addition practice at home. This will be in a handout form. Iba-ibang uh, numbers to add. Iba-ibang uh, iba -ibang style ng pag-add. Eh, pwede ito. Pwede, kung gusto nyo, you, uh, you can get a copy from the ta on the table. And then, on the assigned day, which is on Friday, I will discuss what's inside this handout. Pero... If you don't wish to have this anymore, so okay lang naman. And then, ano pa ba? Mm, aside from this, you can also keep practicing using your whiteboard. So, alimbawa si ate or kuya or your mom will give uh, numbers to add, tapos ikaw naman magsasolve sa whiteboard. Kaya importante yung whiteboard kasi we are going to need it until the uh, until the we until the next uh, operations in math. Ano pa bang nakalimutan ko? Okay, so all in all, lahat merong bagong module except for math kasi isasapit pa yon on uh, next Monday. Tapos ano pa? Okay, so let's try to have one sa uh, one or two subjects per day following the schedule. Monday, pick up and and pick up a submission of the previous module. Tuesday is for AP and ESP. Wednesday is for science. Thursday is for MTB and MAPE. Friday is Filipino and math. So para by next by weekend naman may enjoy nyo. Okay, that's it. We're done. So, I hope you are going you're still going to enjoy the next set of modules and then don't forget to submit the previous module para hindi rin matambakan. So, target nyo matapos ang week 1. Ang 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 math pwede pang extend and then para you are now ready for the next module. So, thank you and goodbye.